I'm sure everyone has heard an old wives' tale about how to tell the sex of a baby before it's born, or some other way to tell some way about your future. Um, today we're going to talk about a device that psychics claim that they can use to tell your future in matters of love, money, or in other conflicts. Of course, I'm talking about tarot cards. <clears throat> uh, when I first started the research for the speech, um, I was going to do a demonstration on how to do uh, how to read a simple spread. But after starting the research, I found that the origins of the deck are so shrouded in mystery that I decided to take a different approach. <clears throat> Some people believe that the tarot are simply a simple deck for uh, playing simple card games. Others believe that they are instruments for mysticism. The origins are as mysterious as the source of their power. Scholars and historians can never agree where cards originated from due to the many legends that surround the cards and that the fact that there are no historical records. Um, one legend says that the, the tarot cards are actually pages from the Book of Toth, which is the Egyptian god of knowledge, and that the book was lost in the fire at the Library of Alexandria. Uh, another legend says that the gypsies, the traveling gypsies carried them with them from India. Uh, the first time they're mentioned on record is in Italy around 1440 in a letter from the Duke of Milan who was requesting several decks be made um, the, with the Carte de Trianfi or the Cards of Triumph to be used at a special event. Um, that, that's according to Obringer, the History of Tarot Cards. Triumphy or Triumph cards uh, is where we get our modern day trump cards from. Uh, although the origin cannot be agreed upon, uh, you can see that they, they, they've been influenced by many different cultures. One thing scholars can agree on, though, is that the cards were created not for divination, but for playing a game similar to our modern day bridge. Uh, people began to refer to this game as taroki, which is the Italian version of the French word tarot. It's hard to deny the history of the regular playing cards and the tarot cards being intertwined when you take a look at the, the suits of the cards. For regular playing cards, you have clubs, spades, diamonds, and hearts. Whereas with the, the tarot cards, you have the suits that are the wands, the swords, the pinnacles, and the cups. After taking a close look at both of these suits, it's easy to see that they're really closely connected, especially being that with the clubs and the wands, they're both simply sticks or a bundle of sticks. And with the spades, you stretch out the symbol for a spade, you can see how well it's connected and how it looks like a sword. And with the diamonds or rubies, being a form of money and the pinnacles as they are coins. Now with the, the hearts and the cups, you have to have a little more knowledge about the cards to understand their connection as the cup suit is dealing with tarot is dealing in the matters of love or matters of the heart. <coughs> There's been many other gaming tools, such as dice, that have been used to tell fortunes, uh, but tarot is the most notorious. Starting with Aliette, an 18th century, who was a seed merchant from Paris, who reversed his name to seem more mysterious, and is now known as Itea, he established himself as one of the first and most influential tarot card fortune tellers. He was also the first to assign dual meanings to cards depending on their position in the spread. The cards also caught the attention of the occult, particularly one group called the, the Order of the Golden Dawn. Author Edward Waite, a member of the Golden Dawn, actually commissioned a fellow member, Pamela Coleman Smith, 
who was an accomplished artist, to hand paint cards uh, in detail with detailed pictures, including all the major arcana and the minor arcana as well. Today, this is the most widely recognized deck, and it is known as the Rider Waite deck. So in conclusion, as mysterious as a psychic reading with tarot cards may be, the history surrounding this deck is just as mysterious and interesting. Uh, I suggest everyone go buy a deck and do a little research and not only learn how to play the game of Taroki, but also be able to tell fortune. Thank you for your time. This concludes my speech.